told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... Watch it, will you? So sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Is everything all right? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. That's my girl. It'll be good to work side by side with you, honey. Is everything all right? What's your problem? Hello. Hey. Did you need something? Hello, honey.
Games! We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside, but none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Be careful. Good to see you. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? All right, we'll stay here then. Do what you have to, but be careful. Did you need something?
Hey. Is everything all... Are you all right? Is it safe in there? I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Of course, honey. What's on your mind? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. What? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. I hope that you could understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my daughter. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Be careful, sweetie. Hey there. Did you need something? Some people are in such a hurry. Yes? Is everything all right? Did you need something? Good to see you. Hello. Do you need something? Please be careful. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier, this is the water of life, your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. 
things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Hi. I think we need to talk. I've been hearing things. Things that have happened out there. Megaton destroyed? You? You didn't have anything to do with that, did you? Something like that never needs to be done. I can't begin to tell you how disappointed I am in you. There's work to be done now, but I want to talk to you about this later. Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Be careful, sweetie.
control room. Just head straight there. still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Janna says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Keep up the good work, honey. Yes? Just outside the pipe that's been giving us trouble. Now don't worry, this isn't dangerous at all. Just get inside and use the manual controls to drain the pipe. That'll break up the debris enough for the filters to function properly. Now I won't be able to contact you once you're in there. You'll exit near the systems, and then you can get in touch with me again.
under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. That's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Montclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this point. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Only a few moments to bring the system. I grow tired of waiting. It'll only be a few more moments. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now. James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us, or else your father died in vain. There's an old tunnel that will lead us out of here to someplace safe. We used it as an evacuation route once before, but that was a long time ago. I hope everyone remembers how to get there. There isn't time to round everyone up. Come on, follow me, and hurry! you do? Don't wander off. We're going to need you. This tunnel leads to the Citadel, the Brotherhood of Steel's Fortress. We should be safe there, if we can make it. We're underground. No one's been down here for a long time. Odds are, we're not alone. Understand me? We don't have time to waste. We need to get moving. What is going on up there? Don't wander off, we're going to need you. You heard me, we need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you, all right? Let's get moving. We'll be right behind you, be careful.
that sort of event. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Maybe you're right. Very well, I'll tell him, and then we'll continue. Let's make this quick. Dr. Lee. Garza, I'm sorry. That's what we must keep moving. If you can't keep up, I'm afraid we'll have to go on without you. But what will I do? You would leave me here alone? Garza, I'm sorry. We have to go now. Hey there. Sweet America. Hello again. go any further. We need to stop. 